it's Shannon. And Paul. So today we are here to tell you a story. That's right. Story time with Paul and Shannon. That's right. So on our most recent question and answer, like part one video that we did, we had talked about, somebody had asked a question of how we met and we're like, oh, we've never told that story. Apparently we had. <laughs> Apparently we have. <laughs> Some of you let us know that we had and we totally forgot that we did. Yep. So see the plant-based video where we talk about mental clarity. <laughs> plant. We are plant-based. This is a plant-based video. There right? you go. Okay. <laughs> so, based around a plant. <laughs> so we, um, apparently we told that story already, yes. but, um, some of you had said that we had never told like our proposal story. Yeah. So that's what we're going to say today. So I think we're going to start with just a quick brief, brief. hopefully, yes. of how we met and then go into how we did the proposal. So I'm yeah. going to tell the how we met. Go ahead. And then he can tell the proposal because he has insight to that that I'm not yes. aware of. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so how we met. Um, you were, I always forget this, you were 18 and I was 19 when we met. Is That's that correct? correct. Okay, so Paul was in the Marine Corps. That is correct as well. <laughs> I lived in California at the time. Once again, correct. Wait, this is going to be a long video. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, I lived in California. He was from the East Coast, and he got transferred with the Marine Corps out to Camp Pendleton in California. So he was stationed there for, what, about two weeks before we met? A month? How long were you there before we met? <sighs> yeah, just, it was a short time. Honestly, I forget. Okay. I, I forget exactly how long, but it wasn't very long. So it was a short time. Yes. Um, so I had been dating a Marine that lived on the base in this one are you making faces over there? No, I'm just I'm not, okay. not, nodding my head. head <laughs> he in usually the, makes in faces. In the affirmative. So I had been dating somebody, and um, the way the Marine base is, it's huge, it's spread out, and there's different camps. camps They're called camps. That um, people stay in. I was dating somebody who happened to be in the same camp that Paul was in, but a different company. So a different group of guys, yeah. but same general area. Right. I had no clue of the guy that she had been previously dating. Couldn't pick him out of the crowd. Didn't know his name. Nothing. Cool. Yeah. So um, we had broken up and my girlfriend and I had driven down to the Marine base and it was about a two, two and a half hour drive. Uh, we had driven down there so I could return some of his stuff that I had because he had um, he had been up to my house and stuff so I had some of his things and I didn't feel like it was right to just get rid of them so I wanted to return them to him. So we drove down there on the weekend to go return them to him and um, I had done that and it was not pretty. I was not happy. I was crying. It was like, it was, you know, I was 18. It's, 19. 19. It was drama, Don't right? Don't make yourself younger. <laughs> it was drama. So I looked like a mess. Uh, it was just not pretty. My friend was driving and um, we, we had dropped the stuff off and then we had gone somewhere else on base and done something and then we were coming back to leave the base and we had to drive back past the same area. So she's driving, there's a bus pulled over on the side of the road, like a big city bus pulled off on the side of the road. And this one is getting off the bus because he's going back to where he lives. Yes. He gets off the bus. He runs in front of it without looking. It's a two lane like road. There's not a lot of traffic because still here. it's the middle of the Marine base. There's not a lot of traffic, but he ran right in front. My friend had a slam on her brakes, almost hit him. It was like, you see it in slow motion. He turns, he's like, sorry. <laughs> and I tell my friend, I'm like, I met her, I'm like, go, you know, turn around, go talk to him. He was like smiling and stuff. You know, you could go meet him because she didn't have a boyfriend. I'm like, you know, you should go meet him. So she does. She pulls around, we go back and he comes over to the car, talks to her for a minute and then comes around to the passenger side and starts talking to me. And yeah, it's, it's all in the books from there. That's how we met. I don't know why he was interested because when I cry, it's not pretty. I get like all red and blotchy and puffy and <laughs> snot and it's, it's not. You know, there are some women that can cry cute. She I'm not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so that's how we met. All right. And now you can take over. Okay, so <laughs> because you brought it up how we, with how we met, um, 
This is not going to be very romantic, so you feel free to like just fast forward this part. Um, <laughs> number one, it was dark when we met. No, my eyesight probably worked to my advantage. My eyesight was a lot better then than it is now. This is but, not going well. It was dark, so I didn't know. So what I was no, I, I, was, I, I was just going to say. So I didn't. I didn't really notice. You know that you were crying or what? I, you looked fine to me. <laughs> Like, I, th I thought awesome. you looked very pretty. Um, <laughs> plus, you were wearing... So we very... got out of the car to talk with him. Yeah. And Shannon was wearing... I think she was wearing a very short pair of shorts or a romper. Well, I don't know what it would be called. A romper. A romper. And she had nice looking legs. <laughs> so He was 18. <laughs> doesn't matter how old I am, babe. <laughs> Still love your legs. Awesome. So, um, I'm a little embarrassed for people that we know to watch this. And that's okay. You know, I mean, <laughs> hey, when, you know, physical attraction is important. Um, and, and so that's, you know, that, that, that's what got me talking with Shannon. Um, you know, and, and yeah, I, I, I was instantly smitten with her, uh, from that. And, you know, I was, it was great that she was interested in me as well. So we had a whirlwind dating thing going on um we ended up having our first date a couple weeks later yeah i think like two or three weeks yeah, two or later. three weeks later um she again came down for the uh for the weekend in order to see me um and i'm probably gonna mess this up because honestly my memory fails me i don't i don't remember how long that we actually were dating yeah, this it was, was 20, not very long this was 26 <laughs> years ago and yeah it was 1993 yeah so we were only dating maybe three weeks, four weeks. Yeah. And by dating for that amount of time, what that means is I went down there on the weekend and we went out on a date. Yeah. And then, or two, because like I'd stay in a hotel down there and then I'd go back home. So right. dating, it wasn't like a, we saw each other every day kind of thing. It was yeah. the weekend. Yeah, and I would go, there was a bank of pay phones because this was before <laughs> cell phones were a thing. And you didn't have your own landline in the Marine. So I'd have to go and feed quarters into a pay phone. And maybe I would get to call Shannon once a week because oftentimes, because I was in the infantry, I was out in the field, which means I was out camping under the stars. No cell phones. And that's a lot of fun in California during the El Nino season. That's not what this story is about. We'll look it back up. 1993 is no New season. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, so Shannon and I had been dating for like three or four weeks. Uh, we had kind of said that we loved each other. Um, Who said it was first? Really cool. So, uh, so I actually, I actually said it first. Okay. You gave me a card. Like when I said it, you gave me this weird look and gave me a card, which then I opened <laughs> after you had driven away and it said you love me. Or, you, or, just, or, 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 or it's a P.S. I think I'm falling in love with you. So, me, oh, that was so, so cute. So, yes, yes. But now that I'm older and I know, <laughs> that's one of those qualified statements that, like, I think I'm falling in love with you. So if the person's like, oh, I love you too, it could be like, hey, I said I love you. But if you're like, hey, I don't really love you, you'd be like, well, I think I was wrong. I always was smart. I yeah. probably knew what yeah. I was doing. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. <laughs> so, cute little funny. car, had a little bear with a balloon on it. <laughs> um, I remember that. Anyway, um, so that I, I want to say that was like our third, our third date, our third weekend together. Um, and I think we had talked about like families and kids and like things like kinda, that. We kind of had the conversation about like what we wanted our life, to, like our lives, to look like. Not if we were together. But like, hey, what do you think about this? This what is what about? I would <laughs> like for my life. Yeah. That's what you'd like for your life, kind yeah. of thing. So <laughs> after I got the card had some time off during the week in the evening, which was rare, but I ended up going, taking the bus, uh, did not run in front of a car, did not get hit. Thank goodness. Uh, went to the mall, uh, which is where one of the bus stops. Um, and I went to K Jewelers, who was doing special financing for military members. And I picked out a ring that Shannon had, we had, part of our date routine was going to the mall. It was one of the, one of the few free places you could go and hang out. And they had the coolest little contraption in the middle of the mall, oh, had these, yeah. these pool balls, like billiard balls. It was huge contraption. That would like bounce all around and go around all these little tracks. I, I was fascinated with the thing. <laughs> um, again, I'm off track. But there was a cage jeweler, right? It was in the center court of the mall. There was a cage jeweler right there by it. I had purposely, because I kind of, you know, I knew that I loved Shannon. I kind of knew, like, hey, you know, this might be. <laughs> love, love in me. three weeks. You're so cute. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can get away with this when you're 18 and 19. Yeah. 
So I kind of herded Shannon over to like the window and be like, hey, what kind of rings do you like? You know, and Shannon, Shannon pointed out, she, she pointed out a certain style of ring that she liked. So I had that going for me, went in, was able to get financing on it and got, uh, it, it was a set actually. What she really liked was like two rings that kind of like wrapped together. They interlocked. Yeah, they interlocked. And that was a popular style back then. Um, it was kind of a new sort of thing. It wasn't like the traditional, like, you know, engagement ring, solitaire, and then a wedding band. It was like, oh, but this is, you know, kind of, kind of cool. <laughs> I love interlocked. Yeah. And it, <laughs> and it spoke to my fascination with the Transformers. <laughs> so it worked out. So I think it was like, I think it was like $750 for the rings, um, which was a, a lot, lot of money for me back then. You didn't then. make much money. No, it was pitiful how much money I made. Um, Marines back then, military people back then who were who had not been in very long, they were poor, um, which is again, military still I think is generally underpaid, but that's a different video. It's getting video. a lot better. Um, I, different video. Though. Yeah, that's a different video. Um, so anyway, so that was a big commitment. I took out, did that financing plan, got the ring, and um, had it. Shannon and I, our next date, we had planned on I was going to, she was going to come down to the, to the base, pick me up. And I was going to go to her house. So I'd never met her parents. Uh, that's an important part of the story <laughs> coming up here. Um, <laughs> so I was bringing him home to where I live so he could meet my parents and kind of see where I yeah. lived and grew up. And... Yeah, because I had no idea. I, I had seen very, very few parts of California up to this point. And my idea of what California would look like thus far had been totally different from what the reality was. <laughs> so I was excited to go see where she lived. Um, so I have the ring, have it in my backpack or my duffel bag or whatever. Um, and I did not have a plan in my head. As I've gotten older, I've, you know, I've had family members get married or get engaged and get married. I've talked with friends and everybody's got these cool stories. I've got an awesome story too, but it's totally different. Well, I thought <clears throat> later you had told me that you were going to, we were going to go out to dinner that night. Yeah. And he's like, I was going to give it to you at dinner time. That just kind of, that, that, was, that, the that was the extent of the plan. <laughs> like it wasn't going to be like hidden in the lobster. <laughs> so it was just the extent of the plan was we're going to go out to dinner, give you the ring. What hey, happens, it's happens. still a plan. Yeah. Hey, if you say no, we're going Dutch on dinner. <laughs> you can walk back to the <laughs> <Yeah>. base. <laughs> uh, so... <clears throat> So we're on the road up to her parents' house and right outside on the north side of Camp Pendleton is a little town called San Clemente. Um, it is still there if it hasn't slid into the ocean. In fact, I know it's still there because we watch a show called Animal Kingdom and part of the show takes place in, that, that's a, the surfing location uh, there. So, um, so we stopped at Texaco to fill up. Do they even have Texaco gas stations anymore? I don't is know if they do. Thing? I don't know if they do or don't. So I grew up on the East Coast and Texaco is not a gas station. A, okay. That was a West Coast thing. So maybe so they're probably. still there. Maybe they're not. Um, so we pulled into San Clemente, Texaco gas station, pull up to get gas. Uh -huh. I got out to pump gas. Yeah, because I start filling with my I get, I get the ring out and I just couldn't wait. I proposed <laughs> to her right there while she's pumping gas. <laughs> It's so romantic. <laughs> and she said yes. <laughs> so, this is how much of a rube I am. I had never met her parents. Never met her parents, didn't know where she lived, didn't, didn't know anything about her. She really didn't know anything about me. It's not like she met my parents. So, um, I am not advising this to no, anybody. I would kill my sons if they did this. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> So we drive up and we meet her parents and her dad was outside doing some yard work when we pulled up and she gets out of her car and goes and shows him the ring. And this is the first time he's <laughs> meeting. He's like, shakes my head like, congratulations. I'm like, thanks. And just looking back on it, her parents were so cool, but it could have been so <laughs> awkward. And I just didn't know any better. I, I didn't know to be embarrassed by those actions. Sebastian Maniscalco, if you're watching this, Aren't I you embarrassed? I should have been, but no, I wasn't. <laughs> and that's what's wrong with this country today. <laughs> but no, um, anyway. Um, but when you're 18 and 19 years old, I feel like you can get away with this, and that's cute and fun and spontaneous. Yeah. And that would have been a 
flown now. No, I, I mean, like we, we, you know, now we're established in our community. We go to church and we hear about premarital counseling and stuff, and it's like, oh. and people that have really great <laughs> stories, and then we get to tell them ours, and then yeah. everybody laughs. It's awesome. It is awesome because I mean, we really do have a unique story. Um, and I mean, we have been together now for 20, we've been together for over 26 years. We've been married for over 25. Actually, we've probably been now together for 27 years. Getting close to, yeah. Because we were engaged. Right. So he proposed oh, yeah. and everything. Oh, yeah, we would have been. Yeah, yeah. He proposed, um, but we were engaged for a year yes, before we right. actually got married. That is right. So, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, so anyway, so that is the proposal story. I am not, do not follow my example. I kind of feel like we should, if we go out to California again, we should go see if that gas station's still there and like do a reenactment. Yeah. Me pumping gas, you <laughs> Yeah. Did you make it down? You don't even get down on one knee or anything. You're it was just a little like, oily. You just like, it was like, like, oil, like the oil did you even thing? say anything nice to me? I don't remember. It I, like, was just. Will you marry me? <laughs> just open the ring. Shiny object, will you marry me? <laughs> Maybe I'm a fairy. I saw a shiny object. Yes. Maybe, because that was a very small shiny object at the time. It was. So, yeah, all right. So, big brother time. Uh, big brother Paul here to talk uh -oh. to. Talk to any young men that are out there that might be watching this. Uh, you know, if you are thinking about getting married, do not follow my example. Um, you know, make sure you meet the parents. Uh, you know, kind of get an idea of, of how that's going to go over. Um, you know, as far as a ring goes, you don't have to spend a lot of money. I'm making a joke about, uh, about it, um, because I thought it was a really big deal then. You don't have to spend a lot of money, but, uh, but I would definitely emphasize getting something that's quality. Um, I would really recommend Costco or, Kate, or Costco or Sam's Club. Just anywhere that sells quality yeah. Yeah. jewelry. Yeah, anywhere that sells quality. And doesn't rip you off. Right. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. Find a girl that is happy with yeah. whatever you give her instead That's of true. demanding of a certain type of thing. That's absolutely true. <laughs> and then stay married for 25 years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it worked out for us because yeah. we actually kind of really almost grew up together because we yeah. were so young when we got engaged. I mean, you do a lot of growing and changing from the time that you're like 18 to 25. I mean, a lot changes in there. Yeah. And we really are best friends. We are. So, all right. So, which is uh, why I forgive him every day for proposing to me at Texaco. If anybody from Texaco is you. watching, you should send us a gallon of gas. No, <laughs> we'd be the poster people for Texaco yeah. gas station. Memories made here. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> all right. So that's the story. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Yep. Um, we enjoy it every time we have to tell a story. For years, I used to be like so afraid. Like we would go, when we first started going to church, we would be in like groups, we'd go out to dinner with people or they'd have things at their house and they'd be yeah. like, let's do like an icebreaker question. Yeah, how'd you and, marry? You know, how'd you meet or you know, how did you get proposed to? And I used to always be like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna say. Yeah. <laughs> now I love it, I think it's hilarious. Yeah, it's just there. But yeah. yeah, that takes maturity to get it, there. It does, it really does, yeah. All right, yep. if you guys have any other questions, you can let us know down in the comments and maybe we'll try to film a video on it. Thank you for watching this one. We appreciate it. See you later. See you.